So good morning everyone. It is Saturday, it is a new week of vlogs, and I am starting off the spooky season this morning. So it is definitely early for me, especially on a Saturday. It is currently just after 8 a.m. I'm getting ready to head to Sir Henry's for a special little sneak peek at what they've been working on for their trails for the season. So they invited a group of us out to come do a hard hat tour. I'm not gonna vlog the entire thing because some of it they're gonna wanna keep as secrets and I wanna just keep it a little bit of a mystery for you guys. But I'm gonna take some pictures to put on social media so you guys can get a little hint of what's coming this Halloween. So I'm excited to go see it. And then once I get done with that, I have my hair already up. I know it's gonna be super humid. I know I'm gonna be sweating a lot. So went ahead and put the hair up. But after that, I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna get my first pumpkin spice product of the season, which is gonna be from Duncan because Starbucks hasn't put theirs out yet. Once I get home, probably gonna shower. <laughs> and then I'm going to decorate for Halloween. So today kicks off the Halloween season. I'm so excited. Let's get to it. Okay, so good morning from Plant City, Florida. <laughs> we are here, oh my gosh, Sir Henry. He's not even put together yet. He's not even together yet. But here we are. <laughs> it's not quite the season yet. He doesn't have a head yet. There you go. This is how you know you're in Florida in summer. The cicadas are screaming this morning. So they just told us that this is going to be the new merch shop for the 2022 season. We're going to have an entire store. So they're saying a ton more Sir Henry's merchandise this year, which is very exciting. Obviously, it is still under construction. They still have about a month before they open, so there's still a lot to do. But the swag shop used to be over there. Now it's going to be this entire thing. This was the escape room before, so... Yep, gotta save some money for when I come to Sir Henry's because I'm definitely gonna be buying a lot of stuff. <laughs> uh, we're gonna have a new feature character this year. It's gonna be our uh, our version, our rendition of the famous Killer Jack the Ripper. Um, so naturally we decided we were gonna do an escape room around him. Um, and if you know anything about Jack the Ripper, you know the term Jack the Ripper was coined from the Dear Boss letters. No fitting, more fitting setting for a Jack the Ripper escape room than an old newspaper stand. So that's what you're going to be going in here for is, uh, you guys remember last year we had a little Billy Boy out here with the mm -hmm. newspapers. So he was working up an article about Jack the Ripper, uh, kind of going to expose him. But um, our character came in and that's how Billy Boy's eyes got ripped off. Our more high tech room, our more adult room, probably our harder room as well. But now that we have two, we can kind of balance it out. This one over here uh, doesn't have as cool of a facade yet. but. Um, Everyone's favorite thing about Halloween is definitely the candy, right? Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> we're just, we're going to take this and we're going to make that candy corn killer. Ah. So, this is going to be a, uh, a shed outside the outskirts of town where these killer candy corn creatures are luring you in uh, to kill you. To, you know, <laughs> give it back to you, they're going to eat you every once in a while. The first three scenes have been untouched so far, so don't, you know, get disappointed yet as soon as you walk in and things are the same. Yeah. Uh, but there's some big, big stuff back there that I'm super excited to show you guys. So, uh, come on. All right. So this is where the headless trail is going to be. I know this pathway. Oh, there's pumpkins. Pumpkins, pumpkins. <laughs> they're already getting taken away. I know, they're already, it's already done. <laughs> now, but if you guys remember, if you guys been here previous events, you remember the, the village, the old colonial houses and stuff like that. People loved it. It's been here too long, quite frankly, for our liking. So we ripped it all down and uh, we went bigger we went up and we went longer. Uh, hopefully you guys got your walking shoes on. We're going to be walking for a while. <laughs> All right. All right. I'll let you guys go first so you guys can get the first little... All right, let's go. Let turn the right I'm excited. This is no longer a village. This is a full town now, guys. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to see this. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. 
Sweet. We're all freaking out because we've all been here before, so we know what it was back here before. Wow. Amazing. Wow. So we're gonna walk through. There's gonna be scenes in here. <laughs> A scary Amanda. <laughs> Hey. I always forget their name. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Someone had to make the joke. Yeah, I had to do it. Sorry, nobody else had, so I'm like, wait a minute. Mm. We should all be trained professionals here. Boo hole. Oh, oh, yes. <laughs> Pre reveal here. Wow. Yeah, I know. I was looking at that one. It's so. Uh, mm. Wow. It is big yeah, in here, too, guys. Yeah, they, they can get some more real different special effects. Yeah. Oh, wow. There it is. Oh, gosh. Oh, yeah. So, look forward to that. Oh, yeah. That's gorgeous. Coming out into the graveyard. So now we're coming out of the woods and going back into the village. There's going to be a water mill here. This is going to be another little shot. This is going to be like the apothecary. Okay, very nice. This window will remain open for all the guests, and we walked right through there um, down the alley. Right, so that's going to be a cool little. Oh, oh hey! <laughs> Where the guests scare the other guests. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh yeah. Yes. And the and the. We love a nice tunnel area. Sleepy Hollow fans will recognize this as the covered bridge. Ah, yeah. okay. very nice. Yes. Can't do Headless Horseman without a covered bridge. Yes. I mean, that's fair. That's the entire legend. Yeah. <laughs> this is going to be our horse barn uh, where we're going to store all of the horses for the trail. Oh, uh, cool. Yeah, that's going to be cool. We've already got stuff in face. All right. And there we are. We emerge back into the common area. So I didn't catch it, but he did say there's going to be an actual headless horseman. An actual, well I guess he's not actually headless. An actual horseman playing the headless horseman on a horse. Sounds like it's going to be really cool. They look like the graves. I know, exactly. I found a, a pod of aliens back here. I love them. Roswell, they're covering it up. Okay. Are, are you okay? I don't think they're okay. <laughs> Things you find at a haunt. <laughs> Even better. That was walking the sunburn. <laughs> so smart. Uh, so I love these. These are these are new, and I love them. This courtyard is always a cool scene. Something then reached out and grabbed Nathaniel's hand. He cried out and pulled back, but found he could move no further. The thing grasping him was wet, thick, slimy, and green. Tiny sprouts spiraled off of it, waving to and fro as though beckoning the boy. Then he began to rise, levitating above the ground. The green thing clutched tighter as Nathaniel rose to at least eight feet into the dark air. The night erupted into madness. The skull was there, staring back at the boy and leering from its massive perch. A tiny shard of red glistened in its jaws, even as the desiccated pumpkin flesh began to encircle and engorge it. The cadaverous features pressed forward, resembling a face, grinning and snarling with wanton abandon. Alright, <laughs> right, well I'm driving away from the haunt right now. It's behind me, heading out. That was super fun. They're adding so much new stuff for this season. So excited to come back and get to experience it later in September. I uh, got to see some lovely friends from the haunt community out there also touring this morning. So it was a fun way to start my like fall kickoff, Halloween kickoff day. Now it's time to go home, get some Dunkin', get some pumpkin spice. Mike already pulled down my Halloween decorations. Looks like it's gonna be a rainy afternoon. I see some dark clouds over there. Spooky season is officially upon us and I am so excited for it. Okay, quick pause in the parking lot because I have to have my first sip of pumpkin for the season. I did a pumpkin iced coffee. It looks like all the pumpkins down on the bottom though. So I'm gonna have to start when I get home. I have a feeling it's not gonna taste very pumpkin-y, but then I got the pumpkin cream cold foam on top. I didn't do the cold brew because I don't like the cold brews here that much, but iced coffee, pumpkin cream on top. 
It tastes like normal coffee with the cream. The cream is delicious. Not as good as Starbucks by any means, but the cream is pretty good, but the rest of the coffee just tastes like regular coffee because all my pumpkin's down there. So we'll taste again once I get home, but the cream is tasty at least. To home we go. I'm back home. This one's being a wild man. Colby, are you being wild? Because you missed me? Because I was gone? Did you miss me? Yeah. Yeah. Did you miss me? <laughs> so, I have my pumpkin. It is stirred. Oh boy. <laughs> we have. Oh, oh, oh boy. I could tell. <laughs> Oh gosh, it's gonna be so derpy with him in a cone. I don't know how this is gonna work, boys. <laughs> I don't know how you say. I don't know how this is gonna work out, Colby. Ash can't even keep up with you. He can't see. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? <laughs> oh goodness. So, while I was gone, Mike pulled down all of the Halloween decor. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Hey, 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 hey. Put on the brakes, sir. Chill out. You have an injured paw still. Oh my God, Ash. Wild. Wild man. You were still injured, you crazy. Like, don't tell me I'm injured. Oh my God. What, what did I just film? Oh my goodness. All right, yeah. Chill out, Colby. Everybody, take a chill pill. Take a chill pill, lay down. Lay down, good boy, <laughs> sort of. <laughs> He's like, I'm Wayne. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is that, that your final position? Okay, so they're on a wild tear. Let's see if I can go show you the Halloween decor now. Easy. So oh, yes, Mike pulled down all the Halloween decor. So it is time to put on some Halloween music. First I have to take down the normal decor and then we start decorating for Halloween. I'm going with the, actually I could do, hmm, one second. I might be changing my mind. Okay, I'm actually gonna start with the HHN 30 gate music to have a little nostalgia for last year. And then I'll go into the HE Gen 29 music once I'm a little further along, but we're gonna start off with this. Oh yeah. Okay, I've removed things. I haven't taken those down yet because I don't think I have enough signs to go back there during Halloween, we'll find out. But took down this artwork. This is all cleared off. The front table is cleared off. This little space is cleared off. Question is, do I start with the village or do I start elsewhere? Because the village takes a while. What do I do first? Front table is complete. I'm gonna do a whole montage of this, but progress. First table's complete. I've got the table decorated. Little trick-or-treat sign there. The cat there. I hung these this year, which I did not do last year, and I love them. So right now, I've got our outdoor sign here because obviously I'm not decorating the exterior yet. So that is hiding the cord for the ghost. I think I'm gonna have to find something to be an actual permanent thing. Stay there to hide the cord, but I love those. They can flicker too, but I just have them on. And then around the TV, I've got this guy who's actually does that. Looks really cool. I've got my little retro TV that I got at Target last year. Got a pumpkin here that's gonna get a candle in it. This is the candle holder that I got from Bath and Body Works that I didn't show before. It's beautiful, so let me grab my candle. So there you go, you have the pumpkin carving candle inside the pumpkin, it's super pretty, and it matches really well with the, the green pumpkin that I got. I haven't arranged this stand yet, so don't judge. But now it's time for the doozy of the project, putting up the village, so. Got the banner up, I've moved my Fears Lantern out. It is currently 2.35. I predict this will take me an hour. 
I'll let you know once it's done. It is now just after 3.50. It's about 3.52 and it is complete. So it took me over an hour. It is all set up. Fully decorated. I have two more things I need to do. I need to decorate the center island. I need to do all my wallflowers and then we will be complete. So let me do those final projects and then we'll do a montage. Here's where I'm at on that. And then I have my candle holder here. This is probably gonna go out to the edge of the island, but right now the edge of the island has uh, stuff all over it. <laughs> so I like to burn my candles out away from this. So that's where that's gonna go. I need to put batteries in the candles so that they actually flicker. Like I said, I'll do a montage later, but here's the wallflower tour. So I've got the little bat down there. Got my little happy fall leaf there. The ghost is in the guest bath as well as the hand, which I need to cut the tag off of. And then the pumpkin is in my office. You see all those marks on the wall? That's from Ash having his cone. That's from him running into the wall with his cone over and over for the past two months. <laughs> but there's my pumpkin. Now storming outside, but we're about to try the Dream World Coke Zero finally, see what we think of it. I can tell you, first impression does not smell like Starlight, that's for sure. So, no. All right, here we go. Nope. Mm -mm. No. No. <laughs> no, no, that is not. Mm -mm. No. No, that's not good. That does not taste like dreams. <laughs> that is not my, that is a nightmare. No, no bueno. It's like Gen Z, I can't afford rat <laughs> dreams maybe, but. It, uh, it tastes like they tried to add some sort of tropical fruit to it, like a passion fruit or like a star fruit mixed with Coke Zero. It tastes like one of the, like the tropical starburst. Mm-hmm. If they melted that into a soda but mixed with Coke Zero, so it's not like a nice tropical. No, that is not a flavor I like. No, I love the Starlight, this, no. So what do you give it out of five? I'm giving it a one. Yeah. I didn't have to spit it out. Yeah, that's a one, do not buy this. It only gets a zero if I can't actually drink it. Yeah, don't, don't do it. Just just say no. Like sour milk would be a zero. Ooh. Like it's almost impossible. Like, like a, a zero is pretty impossible to get. Like a dog food, Bertie Bot's beans. Yeah. Like that gets a zero because that's like <laughs> no one could possibly ever like this. This I could see like there must be somebody out there that likes this because apparently it got approved. But well, I am not on that list. I mean, it doesn't take much to get approved because they just know that we're suckers that will buy it and oh. try it. That's a... <laughs> yeah, well, I mean that I'm sure they like they wouldn't make it intentionally bad. Yeah, someone liked it. Someone liked it. Not my. Well, I bought a lot of Starlight. 
and I think Starlight's done now, but that, yeah, that's what it, it tastes like passion. Like it's trying to be passion fruit soda to me, so. Yeah, or some type of like vague tropical yeah. starbursty. No, thing. don't do it. Okay, we got some Latin cuisine for dinner. Mike got, it's like a sampler platter. It's got churrasco steak, an egg, some pork belly, tostone, avocado, a little corn cake, rice, everything, beans, everything. I got the breaded pork with plantains and rice and beans. Got a guava drink. Mike got a lulo, is that what it's called? A lulo drink? Yeah. Lulo drink. That's our dinner tonight. It is Sunday and I just finished putting together my planner. It is opening weekend of Halloween Horror Nights this, this coming weekend, which is wild. So I did kind of the end of summer spooky nighttime. It's got, you know, spider web. Just felt like it worked. So not direct Halloween, end of summer kind of feel to it. Hello everyone, happy Monday. What? Happy Monday. Happy Monday. <laughs> My schedule is a little thrown off this morning because I had work stuff I had to do immediately. So I have my workout clothes on, I haven't worked out yet. But I went to Publix and picked up some items for science. These are gonna wait, I guess, for sometime next week, but here's what we have. We have new Lay's. We have Funyuns flavored Wavy Lay's. We have Fritos chili cheese flavored kettle cooked chips and Doritos Cool Ranch flavored regular Lay's. So very intriguing. We'll try those sometime next week. So hey guys, happy Monday. Today is flown by. It's already three o'clock. Mike is on a call and probably here. Mo is running in the background. Uh, it's a busy, <laughs> busy Monday. Hash is in here. He's actually cone free at the moment. We're testing it out. Of course, now as I start vlogging him, he's going to start licking his paws. It's no longer an open wound. It doesn't look normal, but it's no longer an open wound. It looks like fresh skin. There's a little bit of a scab on it. We're trying it out. He's starting to get some fur back. We're giving him a cone break at the moment to see how he does with it. Make sure he doesn't mess with it too much. It's later in the day. I've got the Peloton updating. It has some sort of update, so it's doing that in the background. But I did go to the P.O. box while I was out, and I had a couple items waiting for me. So the first one, is from Bonnie. Bonnie sent me a Hellfire Club shirt, so now I have the official Hellfire Club shirt, not long sleeve version. So that's fun. Thank you very much, Bonnie. And then John sent to me a Figment Magic Band. Look at it. So cute. So it's for the 20th anniversary of the current version of the Epcot, not the Epcot ride, the Figment ride <laughs> of Epcot. But I love that it has the symbols. Figgy looking adorable. So thank you both very much for my goodies. It was an exciting trip to the post office today. So now I've got a really cute new magic band and Hellfire Club shirt. It is time to do my workout. Well, oh, it is complete. So now it's time to do my workout for real. I hear you breathe, but I can't see. If you're right here next to me, something's wrong. Wasn't it fun? Is it now we're Wow, this is so atmospheric right now. Wow, that's so red. It's just my computer screen, but wow. Uh, let's fix that real fast. <laughs> my background is like this red, pink, purple swirl. So anyway, I picked up the camera because it is very much storming out there. Yeah, we're getting a lot of lightning, thunder. I just finished filming my Horror Nights video right before this started, so I'm kind of glad I got through it before all of this, because that would have made for some interesting audio. I mean, atmospheric, certainly. I did finally get an email back that I am not on the media list for this year. Uh, they were nice about it. I did very politely email back and ask for an explanation, so we'll see if I get anything for that. 
but uh, I've got a game plan for Friday of what I'm gonna do by the time you see this video. I will have already been there and filmed, but so I think it's gonna be a good time anyway. I'm gonna make the best of it, but for now it's a very stormy, thundery afternoon and I love these afternoons as long as I don't have to be anywhere. <laughs> it's like my favorite. Pumpkin cream cold brews came back today. So I'm not gonna get one today because now it's storming and so I don't wanna leave leave my house but but very soon tomorrow maybe i'm gonna get my first pumpkin cream cold brew of the season it's gonna be glorious so. this is what's for dinner tonight it's pork and korean rice cake stir fry and there it is we're gonna see if it's any good i'm walking toward the office to go work out and they all followed me but you guys can't come in when i work out you can't mom has to go in by herself I'm sorry, I love all three of you. I love you. Oh no. But you can't come in my office while I work out. You take up too much space. I know. <laughs> all right, bye boys. I'll see you in a little bit, okay? <laughs> okay, I'll be right back. These are the faces I get. I'm sorry. I love you. I'm sorry. This is what we're doing today, the 30 minute upper body muse. Let's get it done. So hello again, it is now a little later in the day. I hopped in the shower, I had a quick lunch, and now I'm at Target to get a couple things I need before I go to Orlando this weekend. So I'm running in Target, plus pumpkin cream cold brews came out yesterday. So you know I'm here for a pumpkin cream cold brew. I'm ready for the first one of the season. Oh look, you can see my, look at my shoulder muscle popping through. I actually do have a muscle there. It's hard to get it on camera, but <laughs> all my workouts have been paying off. I do actually have a shoulder muscle and a bicep now. Go figure. <laughs> so I am running in Target to get a couple things and, and we have to do a quick look to see if they have Halloween. Target's been very slow about putting out their Halloween lately, but we have to take a peek. Oh, they've got Halloween right up front. At least a little bit. Don't have time for this today, but I'll definitely come back and do, oh, that pillow is so cute. Do some more shopping another day. Pumpkin cold brew success. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Tastes like fall. By far my favorite drink at Starbucks since they took away my gingerbread. It's so good. <sighs> Happy. I gotta rush home because I got Mike one too, because he wanted one, and I gotta get home before it like completely melts down. My song of the fall. New song of the news. 
says, you make me feel like it's Halloween. It's a Halloween song by my favorite band, I Am Jammin'. I was bummed earlier this week, but now I have a Halloween song by Muse. I'm drinking pumpkin cream gold brew. I go to Horror Nights tomorrow, even though technically Horror Nights doesn't start for two more days. But I'm feeling pretty good at the moment. I've got pumpkin cream. I've got a Halloween song by Muse. Life is good. Back home and Moe's vacuuming, but I got one new item at Target. I wanted something for this wall because the little sign I had hanging up was way too small for it and it's perfect. Each drink and be scary. I love it. Plus it's fabric so it's easy to store so it doesn't take up much space because I don't have much space for storage anymore. So that is perfect. It's Wednesday evening and I am packing for Halloween Horror Nights but I wanted to do a quick show of my bathing suits because obviously I've been on my fitness regime for the past pretty much three months now of working out five to six days a week, watching what I was eating. I will tell you that in that entire time, I've lost like two pounds, like hardly any change on the scale, but obviously a physical change. So just another vote for the scale not mattering. Um, so here is what the bathing suits look like now. Uh, three months later. So here is this one that I tried on for you guys. I've got Foster in with me right now and the dogs are barking at something so he is on high alert. I think I had my hair up the last time I tried these on. Also ignore the mess in the back, I am packing. <laughs> here is three months later after a lot of working out. Uh, I do have actual like shoulder muscles now. <laughs> So I think you can tell the difference. I can tell the difference. I guess I'll tell when I put these like side by side to really know. But there is the front of this bathing suit. And there's the back of this bathing suit after three months. How much did I show last time? I don't remember. But yeah, definitely fits very nicely. And here is the purple one from earlier in the summer. It is definitely looser than when I first bought it. Um, just the way my body lose weight, that I'm gonna lose weight in my stomach. At the very end, of course, <laughs> everything else is getting slimmer. But my stomach holds out to the end. There you go, this was this one. Definitely looser on top than when I bought it. So packing bathing suits for the Aventura stay this weekend. Gonna have some cool days for sure. Oh, and I got the hair clip. I don't know if you can see it. I got that at Target today because claw clips are back in. And as someone who grew up in the 90s and early 2000s, I am all about a claw clip. Immediately remembered what to do with it. Got it in there. Happy this fashion is back because it looks cute on me. So that is, <laughs> that is what I'm doing. So gonna keep packing. I wasn't originally gonna try this one on, but I feel like this one might be even the most obvious of them, at least to me. I don't know if it's as obvious on camera, but there's definitely more room in the top than there was earlier in the summer. It doesn't want to focus on the back. There you go. So, cute. So I think I'm gonna pack this one and the first one, I'll leave the purple one at home because I think I'm gonna have two pool days, so I just need two different tops. I think this is gonna be my second top, but yeah, continue packing. So we did tea flask for dinner. I got the street corn chicken tacos, which look really good. Mike got the chimichanga as normal, and they've got a new habanero salsa that we're trying, so that is tonight's dinner. So I'm packing to leave for Orlando. Ooh and someone is giving me the silent treatment. Can you guess, can you guess which dog is unhappy with me? I'll make you happy. <laughs> I'll teach you to be happy. <laughs> Pretty sure that's how that works, yep. I am depressed, Dad. <laughs> My goodness, it's Ash is. the happy, happy, joy, joy song. Ash is so talkative right now. He is so mad that you're giving everybody else attention but him. He was already barking at Foster for playing. Now he's barking at Colby for getting scritches. Yeah, he's like, yeah, see mom? It's fine, I got dad, I don't need you. 
I don't need you, Mom. Why are you so jealous right Oh my God. <laughs> you just got whacked with a gator behind you, by the way. Oh no. He's like, get away. Let me be depressed. Okay. I saw the suitcase. Oh, my sad boy. <gasps> don't look at me. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Wow. He's so mad at me. <laughs> I haven't even left yet, Bear. I haven't even left yet. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry. I love you. Oh, he's so mad at me. It's okay. I'm I'm only going. Dad'll still be here with you. And I'll be back in three days. I'll be back on Sunday, okay? I'll be back on Sunday. And I have Sunday and Monday off. So lots of snuggle times. Yeah. So yes, it is Thursday. I have my Horror Night shirt on because it is Christmas Eve in the Halloween world. <laughs> because tomorrow is the first night of Halloween Horror Night. So I am getting all packed up, ready to go. I need to grab some sort of snack, a drink for the road, and then I am heading off to Orlando. I think I'm going to have a separate vlog. That's my time at Aventura. So I believe I'm gonna go ahead and sign off the vlog here. I think that makes the most sense to just go ahead and end the weekly vlog here and then pick up with a new vlog from Aventura that's separate. So with that, I'm gonna pack up the car, head off to Orlando, and start the Halloween season. So I'll see you guys again for another week of vlogs. It's just gonna start a little later. The weekly vlog will start on Sunday once I'm back home. So with that, I'm signing off. I'll see you guys again next week. Bye.